highlight tonight a few words about championship rings. Just when did they become the all-important barometer of who does and doesn't count in sports? When did they supersede personal excellence or exemplary character as a standard for greatness? I got to thinking about those questions the other night after the self-anointed chosen one, LeBron James, embarrassed himself as he tried to make his decision to seek rings in Miami sound like a search for the Holy Grail. It's when he essentially admitted to placing a higher priority on winning than anything else. LeBron's decision is typical of our immediate gratification era, but it flies in the face of history. Even though he never won a title, Dan Marino is still the biggest hero in Florida. And in Boston, all those Celtic championships are dimmed by the unforgettable brilliance of Ted Williams, who never won anything. In Chicago, Gail Sayers and Dick Buckus have legendary status despite playing on losing teams. And even in the NBA, where guys seem obsessed with being viewed as the man, real men like Barkley, Ewing, and Baylor are ringless, but revered. Despite such evidence to the contrary, LeBron James seems to think he needs a ring to change his life and secure his legacy. Maybe he'll get one. Maybe he won't. But it's probable that no amount of rings will ever remove the stench he wallowed in last week. LeBron may yet find that in the court of public opinion, just as putting on a tux can't make a guy a gentleman, winning a ring can't make one truly a champion. And that's our show for this evening. For all the good folks here at Real Sports, I'm Brian Gumbel. Thank you so very much for being with us. Good night.